shoot, just call me Courtney because <laughs> do I look like somebody's grandmother? I do not. Everything. What's up, suckers, and welcome back to Everything Courtney. Y'all, so I know the title may be a little confusing, right? Because, like, how could somebody this young and this fine be a grandmother? Yet I am. So let me explain myself, right? <laughs> My baby was being fast. She was out here being a little hoochie mama. And then gave up her goodies. And, and now she, she got chilling, y'all. And not just one child. She got a couple. From the top. Let me just start. Okay, so. I have this outdoor cat named Misty, right? <laughs> it's not a human, but she, she my baby still. And so, she was out here popping her goodies. And Miss Ronnie got pregnant. Now, see, the thing about her pregnancy is she hid it from me. I didn't know for months or, or weeks. How long cats be pregnant? Anyways, that's beyond the point. The point is the heifer went and got pregnant and didn't let me know. It wasn't until a couple weeks ago I noticed she was getting a little chunky. She was eating more food. She was just lazing around on the back patio. And I'm like, Missy looking a little different, right? Everybody in the house got questions is missy pregnant no 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 she can't be pregnant the heifer was pregnant okay okay now mind you we had seen a little black cat sniffing around eating her food just doing stuff because you know she don't come in the house she, like i said she's an outdoor cat so she she just you know unfortunately you know i don't have a father figure in her life right now so she out here in the streets However, we know how we know how Cass is. So he was out here on the prowl looking for a victim. And my baby, I guess I didn't prepare her enough for the real world. And this day cat came and got my baby knocked up. Now that I think about it, like a couple months ago, I remember telling my family, Missy and Heat. Because I think I remember reading somewhere like how they act and they be real like he go my he go my lady parts do something with them in your face type thing and i'm like she acting real like that you know what that noise thing they do and i'm like mm -mm, something right she must be in heat well it ain't like when a dog go in heat they have a whole cycle this heifer was in heat and just you know was just right here with the hot trot so she right here trot hot just throwing the trot around and well got got <laughs> pretty much she got big fast so we're like dang how many kids she gonna have girl like how many children he didn't give you then just drop children off in um kids might watch this um she got pregnant uh did stuff and now she pregnant and i'm glad i ain't catching the act because i'd have told her out the frame i'd have told her <sighs> Let me not to think about it because like her innocence is gone. She's never had babies before. And so I'm sure she was like, what the heck is going on inside of me? Like imagine not knowing that doing that was would make you pregnant. Like at least as humans, we have an idea like, hey, we taking a chance. If not, they have stuff for that. Like plan B. There was no plan B for her. She was going to get got. She was predestined to get got and destiny was fulfilled. Anyway, so these last few weeks we've been noticing she getting lazier, bigger. We can like rub her stomach and like feel a baby. Like, oh my gosh, it's like real deal kittens in here. I don't really like to say kittens because they're my grandchildren. So there's babies. Like I'm a whole I'm gonna be a whole grandma out here to multiple kids. Like I wasn't even able to prepare myself with one. You know how like the first child is like the um guinea pig that's what i was for my parents they don't admit it i was the guinea pig y'all didn't know what y'all was doing just testing trials on me she didn't give me the chance to be a guinea pig grandmother with just one baby I, she was giving me a bunch and girl i'm you know i'm selfish with my time i you lived outside for heaven's sakes like didn't i tell you enough that i wasn't fit to be grandmother yet girl i'm still young in my bro i'm in my 20s like why would you <laughs> So and, anyway, uh, she was so big, she was literally falling off the patio. Like she would be like um sitting on the the benches that's out there and would fall off. Like girl, hold yourself together. 
Like, come on. It, it, I know she was heavy. Sis was tired. And she even like kind of fell off the deck one time. I'm like, I'm glad you got like the ability of a cat. But it was kind of delayed. So I'm like, dang, yeah, she down bad. My, my baby down bad. And how we knew it was getting close time for her to give birth is because the heifer was trying to come in the house. And we like, whoa, 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 girl. Like, you know, mama love you and everything, but you ain't welcome in my house. <laughs> Like, you, you got to go outside. Like, <laughs> you're not welcome in. Like, you're not an indoor cat. What are you doing? This isn't, this isn't what you do. But, um, yeah, she was trying to come in. And uh, she did a couple times. I didn't even know she was in the house. And she's, like, walked through. I'm like, wait a minute. Where you been, girl? Get out the door. So we had to, like, shoo her out. So we realized she was trying to find a nice place, safe place to nest. Now, I know I am a safe environment. I'm, I'm welcoming and I made you feel safe, but that don't mean you come in my house. Yeah, I wasn't, this isn't a home birth situation. Like, and if you want a home birth, you need to go outside to your home because you ain't doing it in my house. So we had to get that understanding together. Clearly, like children do, she was hard headed. So the other day, I'm running frantic trying to get to work for whatever particular reason this morning I was running a little behind and I'm like okay trying to get myself together and my sister calls me and was like hey so Missy ran in the house before I left and I couldn't get her out I seen her run behind the sofa could you get her out and I'm like okay you know let me go get this cat because she's trying it so I went in there looking for her mm, Missy like how do you call a cat it's not like a dog well that works it didn't work for her so i was like um misty where are you nothing silence uh you know dogs kind of dumb a little bit so you could like throw out a toy food it'll make them come out because they just can't contain themselves for whatever reason cats are different i'm learning my child and she wouldn't come out so i'm like what is this half at i searched now the french door that separates the front and the back of the house was closed so i knew she wasn't in the back of the house i'm like girl it's where you at i'm looking in the kitchen the living room the closets my parents room my parents closets every place i could possibly think she is i'm looking in the foyer i'm y'all what is this cat nothing i'm like are you sure she didn't run out I'd spent too much time looking for that cat. That didn't help me get ready faster for work. Therefore, I was even more late because I just had other stuff to do. And like I said, I was running late for whatever reason. And I couldn't find her. So as I am preparing my coffee to leave and walk out the door, finally, she just emerges from out of my parents' room. And I'm like, oh, first of all, because she scared me. And I thought she was trying to run up because she came out real quiet. I'm like, whoa, hold on, girl. Not in my house. But she just came out real smooth. And I'm like, Misty. My dad was home. And I was like, Dad, there she go. Because I had told him she was in the house. He said, we going to find her. I said, okay. Yeah, she came out the room. And I'm like, oh, there she go. Now, as I leave the kitchen, bank the corner down the hallway to go through the dining room, I look at this cat. And her whole behind is red. Blood. And I literally could have just like dropped everything. And I was like, oh, dad. And I looked at my dad. I'm like, look at her, look at Misty butt. This half of them went in label. And I'm like, what the freak? So now she's, uh-uh, don't call for me now. First of all, I'm a little hot that I, that I wasn't in the delivery room. You didn't give me the respect, you know. To, to be in the delivery room, but you want to come do that in my house? Like, girl, disrespectful little heifer. So, I'm like, oh my gosh, she didn't start having her kitten somewhere. And I'm like, I'm going to be late for work. Dad, would you like me to call out? Say yes. Um, I will help you figure this out. He's like, no, it's okay. Go to work. So, I went to work. But on the way to work, I'm like, calling my mom. I'm like, mom, such and such and such and such. Whoop de whoop, doop de doop. She was like, I'm coming home. I was like, oh, so you need me to come home with you? You need me to help you? No, I got it. Uh. Ah. So, I stayed at work. I'm waiting all day to get updated on, like, do I have grandchildren yet? Where are my grandbabies? Somebody tell me where my grandbabies are. Stress, y'all. I'm at work stressed. Like, give me a cigarette. Cause like where's my grandbabies okay like you really went in this house and had babies and you didn't even tell me and the thing that really blew me was i didn't hear her going in birth right 
she was in there pushing all by herself and i didn't even hear her she was silent she's a trooper she is her mother's child not really um she was a real trooper and so i was went by and then eventually i get word that my father found a kitten he found one you want to know what she was the closet my parents closet my mom's side of the closet underneath some stuff because you know i knew cats could get into like the weirdest of places so i'm like looking like she could be anywhere she was in the closet that i know i looked in now i was a little scared looking there because i'm like i don't want to open this door and see somebody looking back at me as i'm looking through stuff to find it that's gonna freak me out but i was preparing myself because you know i had to find her but i didn't look at her and i mean they have a saw me you know what i owe her she saw me then looking for her but she probably was in pain but she could have said something. She probably was in there like, like I could have held your hand, your paw. I could have held your paw. I don't know. Hold your leg up, maybe. I don't know. Who's uh, who, little ice chips, milk chips, mm, maybe milk. Anyways, as he's like putting one kitten inside a shoebox, another kitten. She had two of my grandbabies in the back of the closet. <sighs> my dad found the kittens. See, at this point, he had already put Missy outside because I felt her stomach and I knew she wasn't done having kittens. So we were like, she needs to go find somewhere safe to have the rest of her babies. So she went somewhere and where she did go, we eventually found it and they were safe. And so my dad put the kittens back on the back porch. So, you know, for a little bit, watching them, trying to see if she was going to come get her children. I don't know where she got her mothering skills from. But this heifer took forever to come get her babies. I got off work, came home, and she still didn't have her kids. Which did give me the opportunity to see two of my grandbabies. And they look nothing like me. But they so cute. One of them looked just like his no good daddy. Who round here in the streets. Who I know I didn't see him popping up in other people's yard in the neighborhood. Trying to find his next victim. <sighs> you know. <laughs> it's the audacity for me. He better come in this yard because we're going to have a conversation out of this world. Anywho, eventually, she came out and took my grandbabies and uh, took them back under the house. So, I just wanted to be known that, I just want you to know, I haven't seen my grandchildren in like a couple of days. And I could hear them like crying. Grandma. But, Glamma. Shoot, just call me Courtney because <laughs> do I look like somebody's grandmother? I do not. So, yeah, y'all, that was the foolishness I had to deal with this week. But here I am. I'm better. I'm healthy. I'm thriving. Missy good, too. Like, you know, she good. Like, she a trooper. She was walking kind of funny for like two days. It looked real stank, like, like a stank walk. She had one of them kind of walks. But I just figured it's because her tutor pop was hurting. But I think it's doing better now because she, she ain't slinging it to the left and the right like that no more. I bet you she won't be trying to sling it to Mr. Run the Streets either. I bet she gonna humble herself. Now she a whole single mother out here stressed out. Hair falling out. Like <laughs> I need to chill and stop watching Tyler Perry movies. But anyhow, so yeah, that's the story time of how I became a grandmother, how my grandchildren were born in the back of the closet. Crazy, right? Wouldn't, I can't make this stuff up. So uh, yeah, I'm waiting for them to emerge. I can't wait to see them again. Hopefully they remember me. Who knows? But that's it, y'all. So um, yeah, I have more story times for y'all as life happens, because stuff happens every day, or as I remember something worth sharing. So, y'all be safe out there, and don't forget, Black Lives Matter. Bye. See you in a second, sucker.